playing the first Nintendo World Championships game before the Niz Edition arrives at my house. Mario down, Rad Razor, and Tetris go. Thank you. 
going to get another Tetris. Not the best score, but I can keep going. Plus it hit 5,000 points there. Because I got fireworks, or at least some of it. So close again in our Tetris. Twenty minutes later. Again. Thought I was at the finish line for a second. Clearing lines. Two hours later. Two hundred and twelve. That's the highest I can go, but I think I can keep going. Six hours later. One sixty. I think I can deal with that. Yes, boy. Um, Bien Rubinas. Kaya tirman na lang po sa dulo. Salamat. Salamat po. Salamat. How's it going everyone, Bien13 here, and for this unboxing video, I'm going to be unboxing the Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. I actually now have it now, it just arrived earlier, like in the evening or something, I don't know what I'm saying. But uh, I actually knew quite a bit of the Nintendo World Championships, 
It was a competition that started back in the 1990s. Then they brought it back in 2015, which is the year I first heard about Nintendo World Championships. And then they brought it back again in 2017. And years later on, they didn't really brought it back. Until now, they kind of did, but in the form of a new game. Because, if I'm not mistaken, the first Nintendo World Championships actually had its own game card with games like Super Mario Bros, Rad Racer, and Tetris. Uh, I'll open this up as I explain a bit. But literally, that game is probably one of the rare NES games to get because what I've been told is the Nintendo World Championships NES cartridge is actually only giving out for uh, the competitors back in the 1990 World Championships and there were two versions the gray one was the one that was given to the competitors in that tournament and the gold one I see I think, I think it was some promotion that they're giving out in like Nintendo Power magazines, I think. And uh, the only way you can really get that version of the game now is through either emulation, which I probably did if you saw the introduction of the video. I played the emulation version of the Nintendo World Championships, or there are re pro cartridges which I don't know if those really count so I think I should just cut here as I continue to open this up all right I'm back I got the plastic open enough so I can probably pull this game out I'm trying to be really careful here and here's the game the Nintendo World Championships NES edition this is the Asia version. I actually wanted the deluxe set, but it wasn't available for pre-order here. However, I decided to just make up my mind and just get this standalone game. There's no pre-order bonuses as I'm aware of. Although I really wish I really did got the deluxe set because it had stuff like the pin cards and the I think what I heard the Nintendo World Championships replica card which is gold I can't really talk or remember that much so let's now open this up the real reason why I did got this game is because I really was kind of impressed by this game although it may be similar to uh, NES Ultimate NES Remix on the 3DS and Wii U. However, I think they, this might be a bit different. I haven't really looked up any videos of this game yet. But when I first saw the trailer, I was pretty surprised to see most of the 2017 competitors that are on that ad, including the 1990 uh, Nintendo World Championship winner for the 11 under uh, category. I wish I could tell you more on the Nintendo World Championships, but I don't think I want to because it may be a long explanation, so I mean to say, plus, I think there are other videos that explain this tournament more than me. So, Looking front again, Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. There is no uh, age drain sign on this corner, but instead it does have uh, this uh, mark right here. Back right here it says test your skills against the world over a hundred fifty plus challenges and the sign just says Nintendo World Championships NES edition so opening it up okay so looking inside there's basically 
all pins for um, all the NES games that I think are in this collection. They have like uh, Mario, Zelda, Excite by such and the cartridge is like this it may be hard to see but this is a look at the cartridge standard in the back and the front is like this again this one actually does have the age rating rate for everyone unlike the uh the game card case here so yeah that's indeed the unboxing of the nintendo world championships nes edition and before i leave the video i thought i would do my usual pop the game on the switch and you may know the rest of the drill so let's get on to it okay i kind of lost my tripod so i can set my camera so i'm using my phone which is the best alternative I can use right now. So uh, here's one more look at the cartridge right here and I'm going to pop this open now. So there's the icon for the Nintendo World Championship Edition game. And it is in the updating, so usually when I do most of these unboxing videos, I also show you the Switch Online icons, but I don't think there's any for this game, so let's just launch it and maybe play a game or two. Alright, so there's one player in party mode, let's just... Go ahead and go with one player. There's a description of the Nintendo World Championships. And I'm going to be creating my profile. I don't know what I'm going to use. There are only a few icons, some of them are from. Mario, Zelda, Donkey Kong, Metroid, uh, Kid Chris. I think I can use this one. This my tag. Um, I don't know which one of these I should really choose. Um, not really sure. If they just suit me, I think I could go with. I think I'll try out all about Mario. That should be it. Choose your favorite NES or Famicom game. All right. Uh, NES games I can choose from. Uh, some of these I think I'll choose. I thought I can pick multiple, but I don't think I can. I just picked Super Mario Bros. I should have gone for like Super Mario Bros. 3 or something. Starting up speedrun mode. And this is just a first do. That was a bit slope, so let me try this again. And I did Baron die. And there's the pin. I don't know if I even want to try the other games. Um, no, let's try Metroid. Uh huh. Jump there and get the warp ball or something. I was 
was meant I meant to go a little closer or try to get that more ball from the top, but oh well. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I have for this video. Uh, I only done. I think I'll just end here for now. And if you want to see more Nintendo World Championships and NES Edition gameplay, let me know in the comments. So in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on my next one.